Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I'm going to do a half weight review on my uh, square versus round time trial. And obviously it's turning into a square versus round what the pictures look like as well on this one. Uh, there is quite a, a marked difference on them. Let me just uh, slide them into view there. Uh, yeah, you can see that now. Yeah, so this is the square side and this is the round side and I'm doing, it's a 30 by 30, it's exactly the same picture from the same manufacturer. Uh, the square has 34 colours, the round has 30 colours, but the difference between the four colours is just unbelievable the, the shading and um, the charting the depth on this one just looks so much more detailed it looks like an awful lot more than uh, four colors that to this side um as i say i mentioned in part one you know the background uh, this background has like four colors three four colors in it whereas this one the background it's just the one colour going all the way around, you know. And then the flowers, obviously, you can definitely see there is an awful lot more detail on the flowers and the leaves there. So I thought I'll do a half time one and then I will continue to then do the next three um, and then do a completion review once I've done them. I have got the special drill one to do as well because I thought, well, if we're doing a time trial, Let's have the same picture, we'll do the special drill as well and we'll see how long the special drill one takes us to do. So, so far the round drill to do the three parts has taken me 7 hours and 23 minutes. Okay, and then the square drill has taken me 9 hours and 16 minutes to do the same amount. So the squares are slightly smaller than the rounds, so there are more of them to place, so it is going to take that little bit longer. But I think even for me, it is quite marked at how different uh, the pictures are and how much longer this is taking. So I think when you're doing squares or rounds, it is a personal choice as to whether some people hate squares. I'm getting used to them. When I first did a square, I could have cried because I wasn't very good at putting straight lines down. I'm still not brilliant, but this, they go down and they look OK. Um, and I always favoured rounds. But then looking at these two pictures compared to one another, if I'm going to be doing anything that's really detailed, I think I'm going to need squares because I do love the fact, particularly around this flowery bit. I mean, it was so heavily confetted. That's why it is taking the time. Um, you know, it does stand out a lot better than this round side here. And, you know, even the hedgehog's feet and the face, the colouring is just so different uh, and such more detail in this side. It, it's quite strange how it's all working out i'll leave you to watch um how i compare the three different sections as i go along hi everyone liz here thanks for stopping by so i've started my comparison and this is if you remember from my unboxing of it and um, i'll put the link down below and um, my hedgehog and it's a 30 by 30 and I've bought exactly the same canvas from the same company in a square and a round. And my idea was I wanted to see how long it would take me to do a square painting as opposed to a round painting. Now, I know the square is going to take me a little bit longer because there are more drills to do. Um, the squares are actually slightly smaller than the rounds. So there is going to be more drills on the picture, but I just wanted to see what the time would be. But also it's going to turn into a square versus round comparison as well, because you can see the obvious differences. Um, the first thing that struck me when I did the square first and I thought, wow, you know, there was a lot of changes, quite a bit of confetti all around here. Uh, was when I took the round out that all of this background here is all exactly the same colour. There's a little tiny bit of shade in here, but that's it. Whereas this side, the square, there's three different colours in just that little bit there. And then we've got a lot more shade in here. And this is a lot more pinks and pink tones, whereas this is more sort of um, peachy and beigey tones. So there is quite a big difference um, already. The time difference um, I'll put uh, on the screen so you can see. Um, how long each section took me but I thought I would just pop in um, and I'll try and do updates as I do each section and we'll see how we go along but uh, I have to say so far even though it's taken me that little bit longer I am liking the square quite a bit better 
certainly a lot more detail which you, you think why would that be why would this not have more colour in the background um, does that size difference really make that much difference okay well that's it for now I'll see you in the next one bye for now hi everyone Liz here thanks for stopping by again so update number two on hedgehog time comparison um <laughs> I think you can really see the difference now between the squares and the round goodness me there was a lot of confetti in this um it doesn't really look I suppose this looks darker but it doesn't really look like there's much uh, colour difference but when you actually get into it oh gosh um this little portion here took me three hours and 17 minutes uh, because there was just so many colour changes, uh, so much confetti, which is um, where you get lots of different colours in one place and you've got to keep swapping colours out. Um, and then this one only took me two hours and 20 minutes. So nearly an hour longer to do this section to this section. And they're exactly the same size exactly the same picture just this one's square this one's round and to be honest there's only a few more colors in the round in the square to the round but obviously in this concentrated part here it just took so much longer because it was a lot of color change and um, some of them were only sort of like two or three colors so it'll be interesting now to work on the rest so thanks for uh, coming along again to see this thanks for stopping by and we'll see you in the next one to see how far we get on the next section see if it's an hour's different on that okay bye for now hi everyone liz here so quick update part number three uh, on hedgehog round versus square uh, time trial so i've done the third section which is this one here on both pictures oops can you see that yeah that's better so yeah this part here and the round one it took me two hours and 31 minutes and the square one took me three hours and eight minutes so what's that uh third 37 minutes more so not quite as much yes yeah, so again quite a bit longer but i think you can see um the real difference in the coloring and uh, the charting and even though there are four only four more colors on the square to the round look at the difference in the colors this really does look like it has an awful lot more different colors i mean you know just the flower and uh, this part here is pretty similar, but it's more this part, that flower, just has so many different colours. You can see the squares, you can see that flower an awful lot better. Um, you can see the different colours, the different charting. Yeah, to me that square is an awful lot better, but again it is taking longer to do. And then the round. Yeah, I think if you were just doing the round um, and you saw the round, you would think, yep, yeah, that's pretty good. I quite like that. You know, it, it does uh, look like a flower and it's pretty shaded. But when you compare it next to the square, you know, it really does make a huge difference. Um, it's been quite an eye opener doing this. Thanks for uh, stopping by to see this and I'll see you in part four. Right, okay, so you've seen the three sections as it's worked. What I'll do, as I say, I'll do the next three sections up to finish uh, in another video as well, rather than it being one long video and you're just literally probably watching me saying similar things on each one. If you're enjoying seeing this time comparison or if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. A thumbs up would be much appreciated. That's the little notification down there. And if you want to see the rest of this and see it fully completed, if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the little bell next to it, all that does is notify you when my videos come up. Okay, so thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon.